guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassie and this is Phoebe and I'm finally back from Japan but Karma's not with us so uh, give it a few weeks and then all of us three will be back together. It's <laughs> so hard to find time yeah. to all actually be cool. together. But anyway, today we'll be filming our luxury scarf collection. We don't have many but we've got a few and we'll go through our, our thoughts on them and the pros and cons and whether we think they're worth it or not. So if you're interested and keep on watching. Cassie and I both own a Burberry scarf each, um, a Gucci one as well, and um, Cassie has one from LV as well. So the reason we don't really purchase scarves that much is because of the climate in um, the area we live. It doesn't really get cold enough ever, I don't think, We're to Australia. wear a scarf. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in, I normally just wear mine when I go on holiday, like travel somewhere a little bit colder. Um, so I don't really feel like I can justify purchasing like a whole lot of scarves to have in my collection because they don't really get used as often. Um, yeah, I don't even use mine when I'm in Australia as well. Like our winter in Australia isn't that cold. Um, I don't know, does it get to zero? <clears throat> I don't that, even know, but I don't think yeah. we, like, I don't even really wear a coat, like, you yeah. know, it's not really coat weather either, mm. so, yeah. The only time I use my scarves is when I'm on holiday as well, like, when I went to Japan recently, I bought my scarves along with me, but other than that, I don't use them. So when we look for scarves, um, we only look for, like, the iconic ones, and the ones that we can, I guess, last forever, so I actually haven't purchased scarves in, like, a lot of years, like, I think. I purchased my last one. Oh, I've only got two, but um, I've been bought like my second years. one. Yeah, probably a little bit more recently. I think two years ago, but yeah, not very often. So the first scarf that we're going to talk about is the Burberry scarf. So both me and Phoebe just own the Burberry scarf in the classic um, cashmere print. style. Yeah, yeah, and then cashmere. So it's cashmere. Um, and the reason why we got this is it's super iconic and it goes with pretty much anything and it's everything. It's neutral and it just yeah. looks good. Like I just, I love wearing mm. a lot of like neutral black colours and black mm. and it just suits everything I wear when I wear it. Um, yeah, we purchased really good this style. I think maybe uh, over five years ago definitely. Mm. Um, Perth used to have a Burberry store um, back then so we got it when the store was still there. I think they shut it down few years ago. Yeah, they, we don't have a Perth store anymore, yeah. but you can still get it online. And I know now they you can actually um, print your initials on the cashmere Ooh, scarves. Yeah, so I know quite a few people have actually printed it, but we, well I didn't have the option um, when we purchased it a while back. Um, but back then we purchased it for around like 500 ish. I'm not sure the exact price, but I've just checked the website today and it's $780 now, so it goes up in price. Quite <laughs> steep. Um, but this is like a forever scarf. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't ever sell mine because I, love I just it. feel it's like so it's soft. such it's a class and it's so soft. Yeah, it's so soft. Um, in terms of maintenance, how do you wash yours? Uh, I haven't washed mine. You, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I've only. <laughs> Um, because yours looks a lot better than mine. Well, like, this isn't, uh, this hasn't been washed yet, but, um, because mine, I'm pretty sure, I don't, can't remember. Well, I want to send mine to the dry cleaner to get yeah. it done, because I'm, I don't trust myself in doing it. Um, I think I hand washed it, and now mine's, like, a little it bit It feels fluffier. a little bit yeah. fluffier. So. This is still super, hers super is, soft. Yeah, hers is super thin and soft, whereas mine's a little bit fluffier, so I'm pretty sure you're meant to dry clean it. And I'm pretty sure on the instructions it says to dry clean it. But, but you've definitely worn yours more than I have. I only wore it, I think, a little bit... Well, I don't even think I wore this in Japan. I think I wore it when I went to yeah. Europe, but, like, not, not a lot to yeah. my trip. Yeah, I so. used mine quite a lot. Yeah. But um, it's held up really well mm. um, for the amount you've worn it, and, yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, the Burberry scarf. So I love to wear my Burberry scarf just draped over my shoulders like that. I will wear mine like that yeah. as well. Yeah, or I will just, this is another way that which I actually commonly wear it, um, I just tie it twice. Like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never worn wearing it like, wearing it like this. I just yeah. discovered it one day on holiday and loved it. And the other way I also wear it is I just throw it around my neck. This is when I'm super cold though, and then like, <laughs> like a little, just put it, like, like, like yeah. a little snowman. Like a little snowman. <laughs> um, and yeah, and the other way I wear it is just like that, so uh, that's how we normally wear up every scarf. So the next scarf that Cassie and I both own is this um, Gucci one, so I think it's a, a wool... It's made out of wool, it's not yeah. cashmere. Um, um, and you can tell by the price point, this is only like... I bought mine... Uh, you like, you got yours quite cheap. A long, time, a long ago. time ago. I bought it in Europe as well, so I got mine for a hundred and something Australian dollars. 
Um, and yours is how much? Um, well, I saw on the website today that it retails at $395. I got mine in the airport in London, and I I think maybe I paid about 300 ish I can't really but remember. But that was recent. It was yeah, two, two years, years ago, ago, yeah, 2018 yeah. when I was at the airport there. So, um, yeah, you can tell by the difference in price that... Yeah. The Burberry ones a lot nicer with the cashmere. Um, so Cassie and I both have it in this grey kind it's of... It's a dark grey colour. Yeah, dark grey. Um, it's reversible, I guess, because yes. the sides are dark grey yeah. colour and then the sides are the light grey. That's something so, I really like about it. Yeah, this it's so versatile. Yeah. Um, yeah, depending on what you're wearing, you can flip it around. Um, but the only downside is, like, you can probably tell, but mine looks super worn out. Um, I don't really take care of my scarves that often, but that's because I'm really OCD with, like, clean stuff. Yeah, so I just is. chuck everything and anything into the washing machine, which is not good, even though it says you probably have to dry clean it. But mine, again, like my Burberry one, but this is probably worse, is super fluffy. <laughs> this is a lot worse. But, like, um, look at the bottom of it. Like, it's pretty much ruined. Whereas, if you compare, this is what... <laughs> It looks like when you haven't thrown it in the washing machine. <laughs> so guys, I do not recommend to put it in the washing machine. I'm pretty sure I tried hand washing it as well and it's still screwed up. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Are you using something maybe a bit harsh? I with... use um, fabric softeners. Maybe that screwed yeah. it up. Um, um, if you guys have any tips on how to look after your scarves though, definitely let me know. Fine. Because I haven't actually washed this one either. Mm. I think if you just put it outside in the sun it will kill all the bacteria anyway yeah yeah but um and i'm just not ready to like damage this by accident because it just it still feels super soft as well <laughs> yeah i kind of regret mine like i don't even want to use this anymore because it's so ruined but um and i can't even sell it or anything because it's like not in a <laughs> definitely condition. not in a condition <laughs> so yeah i pretty much ruined this scarf so i literally wear this scarf exactly the same way that i wear the burberry one um so just over the top of my shoulder like this mm -hmm. and yeah it's also reversible so I can flip it um, for when I want to and then I also do tie it with a double knot um, the double knot as well this one I actually haven't seen anyone tie I don't know I did it yeah. I think I just randomly cool. did it in Japan and I actually really like the look mm -hmm. of it um this one's a lot longer though so it sits sits a little bit further down but I still yeah really love it I uh, would you recommend this scarf Oh yeah, definitely. I think um, for the price, for the price point, point yeah. really, really worth it. Um, as long as you don't ruin really, it. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't go and chuck it in the washing machine or put fabric softener <laughs> on it, it should be okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Out of all of like, the luxury brands and everything, I reckon the Gucci one is the most affordable. Yeah, because and best value for money yeah. as well because you're basically getting two scarves because it's reversible. Mm. Yeah, that's also very true. And it comes in a lot of different colours yeah. as well. So um, yeah, we highly recommend it. But... Again, don't put it in a washing machine. <laughs> so the last scarf that we're going to talk about is this LV scarf. So this is the Louis Vuitton Logo Mania scarf. So this is wool, I believe. Um, it's, so soft. it's super soft as well. And I quite like this because it's quite, um, I guess, it goes... It's quite neutral and goes with everything. So yeah. is it, does it only come in this monogram style print? It, this specific Logo Mania one only comes in this print, but I just feel like it adds a little bit of like oomph to your outfit when I put it on. But when I wear this, I literally only wear it like that. Like I don't actually um, wear it like Across, yeah, I feel like it is a really good statement piece. Yeah, a yeah. statement piece. That's because the patterns yeah. are so kind of out there and mm. everything. So and it's a neutral color as well. Um, the only downside about this is that it tends to like it pulls a little pull. bit. So you can see here, I've got quite a few pull marks on it. Um, I read and I've seen videos of people where you can actually undo it, so you pull it from the other side. But I actually haven't tried doing that yet. So yeah, as you can see, I've got quite a few pull marks on that. So that's probably the only downside of this. It's quite expensive as well. It's six hundred and forty dollars or something. But I bought mine for five hundred and something, so I bought it a few years ago. But um, I still really like this, and this is probably the only scarf on LV that I'd actually buy because um, they have like one similar to the Gucci one, but they're so expensive, and the Gucci one's really similar, so I wouldn't purchase that one. 
Um, and I think it's just nice owning one piece of scarf from LV. So in terms of our opinion of luxury scarves based on the ones that we own, um, I really feel like the Burberry one's the winner for us. Like yeah. it's super soft, it's such a nice little statement piece without being too out there. Um, it's still all relatively affordable for a cashmere scarf yeah. as well and it just feels really nice, it looks good with everything. Um, if you are looking for something a little bit more value for money, um, Gucci. the Gucci one was awesome mm -hmm. for that. Um, a lot more affordable. Um, and uh, a little bit more versatile because it's reversible for mm. that one. And with the LV one, if you're just really looking for a, like a statement kind of scarf mm. that just stands out and like just kind of adds a little bit of like oomph to your outfit, yeah. I think it's really worth it. And if you've got the money to spend for it, um, definitely get that one as well. Um, but yeah, I love all three of them. Yeah. Really. And I don't think I'll add any more scarves to my collection. Yeah, like, just based enough. on the amount that we're going to yeah. use it and everything, I think what we have at the moment is completely fine for and us. And they're all a little bit different as well. Yeah. So. Um, if you guys have any scarves in your collections or any uh, recommendations on scarves, then let us know. And also give us tips on how to actually clean and wash yeah. the scarves because we, yeah, we don't really know how to. <laughs> I don't want my Gucci to have the same fate as Cassie, so definitely, definitely let me know how to wash it next time. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you.